Nicola Sturgeon publicly shamed as huge billboard blasts First Minister's empty promises, Nicola Sturgeon has been shamed over the SNP's record on the NHS by a new billboard in Inverclyde near Glasgow. Scots go to the polls next month to elect their next government. The SNP is demanding another referendum on taking Scotland out of the UK. However their domestic record has been fiercely criticised by unionist group Scotland Matters. A billboard placed by the group shows a cartoon of Moose Sturgeon chopping up Inverclyde Royal Hospital with a giant pair of scissors. It follows the closure of the hospital's out-of-hours GP service, downgrading of its trauma setup and a plan to move intensive care unit patients to Glasgow. Using Scottish slang the First Minister is depicted as saying, and you thought a Whitney cut services. A caption at the bottom states, you can't believe a word they say, tactically vote the SNP out. Speaking to a local newspaper ahead of the 2016 Scottish Parliament elections Ms Sturgeon denied there were plans to cut services from Inverclyde Royal Hospital. She said, there is no substance to fears that have been expressed over the future of Inverclyde Royal Hospital. Understandably, there is sensitivity about services being centralised out of the hospital. There are no plans to centralise services out of Inverclyde. The reassurance I would give to people is that I understand all too well why this hospital is so important to people locally, and we value local provision of services. A spokesperson from the pro-union Inverclyde Yes to the UK campaign argued this pledge has been broken. They said, we in Inverclyde remember Ms Sturgeon's words of reassurance but now we know they were purely to secure votes for her candidate Stuart Macmillan MSP. They have both stood by and said nothing as service after service has left the local hospital. Scotland Matters is urging Scots to vote for the unionist candidates best place to beat the SNP next month. They commented, when the Inverclyde electorate vote on 6 May, they should remember Nicola Sturgeon's empty promises on healthcare, education and other issues, and the one promise she may be forced to keep by Alex Salmond, the holding of an unwanted, divisive referendum. The best way to get rid of the nationalists from Holyrood is to avoid splitting the pro-UK vote and use both votes for the pro-UK candidates most likely to beat the nationalist candidate. Scotland voted to remain part of Britain in 2014 by 55% of the vote to 45%. However the SNP have pledged to hold another referendum over the next parliamentary term if they secure election. Boris Johnson has already ruled out a referendum over the next few years arguing it would distract from Scotland's coronavirus recovery. Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross has urged unionists to boycott any wildcat referendum called without the British government's consent. Speaking to the Greenock Telegraph last year a spokesman for NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde insist they remain committed to Inverclyde Royal Hospital, IRH. A spokesman said, over the last five years alone we have invested approximately £13.3 million into the IRH campus including new medical equipment, money allocated to update fire control measures, CCTV, drainage works, heating controls and lighting. A further £3.1 million will be invested in the IRH during 2021-22 on hospital infrastructure, ward and theatre upgrades. We further welcome any additional opportunities to engage with our local stakeholders at the council to provide them with any reassurance they need and to answer any questions they might have regarding services at IRH.